terrorist attacks in general. So in my lifetime, the so-called Troubles began in August 1969. All hell breaks loose. Protestants, Catholics, houses burnt out, people are killed in the streets. In the area that I go to is a good area to show you, tell you that story. What's he doing here? No, no signals on, no now. Just doing a U-turn here. Mm, park. Yeah, that's so, houses just burnt out, people killed in the streets. British Army came in here very quickly. Steel helmets, fixed bayonets, barbed wire wasn't good enough. And eventually they had to build a wall, like a Berlin Wall system. And we will be looking at that later on in greater detail. I'll explain it to you. So that was the scene set. A lot of money came in from New York, Boston, Chicago, Irish American states, sympathy for the IRA, weapons, bombs, money. And the IRA reorganized themselves. The provisional IRA emerged from the troubles and they basically were just hell-bent in destroying the whole economy of the country. They're driving car bombs in around these very streets here and exploding them. And also no warning bombs in cafes and restaurants, planting bombs and killing people. So bombs are indiscriminate, so they're actually killing Catholics and Protestants. Uh, in response to that, the Protestant groups organized themselves similar in the terrorist groups. They weren't going to bomb their own country, their own city. So their tactic would have been uh, their tactic would have been one bullet equaled one bomb, one bullet equaled one bomb, and uh, they would have been the Catholic neighborhoods shooting people, planting smaller bombs, then bars up in around Catholic neighborhoods. They weren't going to bomb their city. Mm -hmm. So this started a whole terrorist campaign, tit for tat murders for 25 years. These, these guys are familiar with ISIS and things like that, where they attack a city one week and then another city another week, a day and another day somewhere else. But in, Belf in Northern Ireland for 25 years, there's several terrorist attacks every single day. Okay, maybe it's say about five per day for 25 years. So one of the statistics, well a few of them is, there's 15 and a half thousand bombs planted in and around this country, Northern Ireland, in those years and also 3,700 people killed. For everybody that's killed with a the bomb, there's 30 injured, okay? Indiscriminate. So all that was going on, and worse. The guides have all their own personal stories to tell. Near misses, I was nearly killed a couple of times. And uh, that brings you up to 1994. Okay, just pause for a second. This is the falls now we're driving onto. Divis Street Falls here. Divis Flats, Divis Tower Block. There used to be a British Army observation on top of the roof there. Remember this area now, this is a Catholic neighborhood here. Falls, Catholic, Divis area. Now here's your glimpse of the peace line there. You see the fencing just in front of me here? It's all part of a Berlin Wall system, the peace line system. Oh, okay. Everybody understand that now? So the, the peace line was built initially in 1970 to 72, 10 feet tall initially. It's been built higher over the years. Today in some parts of it, it stands 60 feet tall. Still necessary, it's still needed today. With me, everybody now. I'm just conscious that you're with me now. I'm not putting you to sleep with all this. No. You're all right. Okay. We're just listening to you. Sorry. We are, we are just listening to you, so we can get all the yeah. information. <laughs> so the, the walls and the fences were opened up, uh, uh, built in 1970-72. Now, if you look down here, this is the very beginning of the peace wall. Just down here at the beginning, to the right. See the beginning, the, the gates, there's gates in it that are open. They close around about 6.30 tonight, around about 6.30. All right. Mm. This system starts here. You see the gates open. Well, there's churches and warehouses that don't need walls, fences, gateways. They're natural blockages. This system goes right up to the mountain up there in the distance. You see the mountain? 
Yeah. It was right up to that mountain. Okay, so far? Yep. Right, now you see the gate is open. There's ten gates like that the whole way through. Ten. Roughly. Okay, things are changing here. It's hard to keep with all the new developments. But ten of them, two open all the time. They're always open. Another two close at midnight and we open first thing in the morning. The majority of the gates only open Monday to Friday, business hours. And that's the way it operates this very side. Okay? You understand that then? Yeah. And we're leaving the Catholic side now. We're going to the Protestant Shankle. Go up through the Shankle area, tell you their story. And then we're going to cut through the peace line further up through a gateway back into the Catholic Falls and come back down the way we just left there, showing you their murals, etc. etc. Alright? Yeah. At all times, I need to see this mirror. Here, okay. You know, just Sorry. The cars going yeah. I'm going to drift through the Protestant side now. Presbyterian Church to the left. questions. Why don't I just go back down to that gateway? There's lots of murals down there. Make sure you get them. 